Um, I just want to document this moment where I am about to go into the Hunger Squid Games to buy tickets for the SoFi Stadium. Permission to dance on stage tour. I tried to call my sister, but her ass went to go get wine because she didn't have any and she, and she saw me drinking some. Um, so we're a little less than two hours away from when Ticketmaster will let you into like the waiting area. I, I don't like I don't like this. Like I've watched some YouTube videos and they seem very excited, which I, I get why you're excited because you have the possibility to go see them, and I and I understand. I'm just waiting for my sister to call me back. I have a whole bottle. Hopefully these next few clips are of good news. A minute left until we get put into the queue. This is day two. Uh, yesterday was a complete fail, even though I had pre-sale code, the code didn't work. I just need to document that I'm trying again. I didn't have hope and now I have hope and yeah, this fucking sucks. Katniss Everdeen got in. I am now, just now, halfway. So, mine is like barely moving. Miss Katniss, yes. I, if she gets, if she gets some good tickets, she will be Katniss. I will be PETA forever. I will be PETA the rest of my life. You know, okay, I'm gonna talk more about this later, but this ticketing system was so f up. There was no benefit. Oh! Burn it till it's all gone. Yeah, 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 burn it. Ami! <laughs> Hi. Clearly, today's video is. It's just kind of. um. I'm. I don't want to come off ranty. I just wanted to share my experience with trying to buy tickets for the permission to dance on stage in LA at SoFi Stadium. I guess this is more of going to be a therapy session for me to just kind of talk out what happened because I feel like I I just need a little bit of closure before I continue on posting things on my channel because I mean honestly it was just it was just mentally draining. I'm clearly in a better place today, but the past 2 days were extremely exhausting just mentally and then in turn it spilled over physically you know but yeah i just wanted to talk about my experience in um, tr attempting to buy uh tickets today is actually it's october 8th and i think today is the verified fan pre-sale so there was the vip mott's vip pre-sale on october 5th and then there was the mott's general pre-sale october 6th uh, yesterday the 7th was the army membership pre-sale and then today is just the Ticketmaster verified pre-sale. I got waitlisted for today so unfortunately I can't partake in this pre-sale but I was able to participate <laughs> kind of on October 6th and 7th so let me just let me just or I'm getting heated again. <laughs> How do I want to start? I actually wrote notes. I might be all over the place. I, like a lot of you guys, bought tickets to the Map of the Soul Tour. Um, I think it was around February 2020 or so, January or February, when I bought the tickets. And I somehow, both my sister Rose and I, got tickets on the floor in section B for months. And I realize now how lucky we were when we got those tickets. Yeah, so we got four tickets total. We were going to go with our mom and in, you know how it is. Fast forward a little bit into 2020. And COVID hits and everything is shut down. But Ticketmaster gave us the option of holding on to the ticket in hopes of, you know, Hive or at the time Big Hit announcing that they are going to continue the tour sometime soon. So when Ticketmaster asked me if I wanted a refund, I think I had a limited time to get the refund, maybe 30 days or, or a month or something like that. I said no, because I had four friggin' seats. Okay, I had four seats, and so I, of, of course, I said no. Um, and, you know, the pandemic just waned on, just continued. And then finally, I think it was just a few months ago, the map of the tour was officially canceled. At this point, everyone was very, very upset. So we got a refund. I got my refund over the summer. And actually, <laughs> I do want to say that before I continue on, it, uh, continue on complaining or ranting or, or whatever you want to call it, I completely realize how lucky I am to be even given an opportunity. I truly, truly feel grateful at even the opportunity to even purchase tickets and not only purchase tickets, but have the funds to purchase tickets. Like I get it. There are those that don't have a chance and 
I fully recognize that. Trust me, I really do. This is just from someone who, you know, had the opportunity and got it stripped away. And I just want to talk about my experience. Uh, and then we receive a code, a pre-sale code to use on the Permission to Dance concert. That was crazy, right? Like this is like everyone's starting to get excited. Like, oh my gosh, I don't, first of all, I don't even know why we were like, we're so hopeful, ARMY. We are so hopeful because as soon as Ticketmaster announced this, we're like, oh my God, they didn't forget about us. They didn't forget about us. October 6th, we are able to use what we held on for for two years to purchase another ticket. I mean, granted, look, I am really far from LA. I still had a chance to fly. I am nowhere near LA, okay? I'm on the East Coast. I've said this several times in my videos. I am East Coast Army, but I was gonna try to go anyway because who knows when they're gonna go on tour again. I mean, clearly, I think it's pretty clear that HYBE is using this as maybe the first stop. Didn't they post something on Twitter that said, first stop, question mark? VIP Army, so the people that got sound check and the VIP packages for MOTS had the opportunity to buy for the fifth. And I know there were still some problems and errors that th this kind of stuff always pops up on Ticketmaster. They were also given first dibs, so great. So I'm very happy for you. <laughs> October 6th comes around, uh, my sister Sylvia and I hop on a call to just like calm down. We were anxious. Like I suffer from anxiety. Like I know that this term, I, I hate that a lot of these kind of mental, I feel like they're tossed around a lot and, and so kind of devaluing what it really means. But I, but tr but I suffer from anxiety to the point where I will physically get affected. I can feel blood rushing to my head and my heart, I can literally hear my heartbeat. I start getting clammy. I, I was telling my sister actually this morning that when I was talking to her on my iPad, I couldn't, be, like my hands were so disgustingly clammy that it wouldn't even read my fingers when I was trying to like type and navigate through apps and stuff, like it, it's bad. Anyway, I'm just saying that we were a ball of nerves, okay? So what had happened was... <laughs> it's really funny because once I tried to hop in to the actual waiting room, Ticketmaster mother freaking told me that I wasn't invited. Excuse me. They gave me a code, okay? They gave me a code, and I know this happened to others too. So I know it wasn't it wasn't me that did something wrong. Like for example, if I was logged in to multiple accounts or like some shit, I don't know. I was emailed a code, told it it was a special pre-sale for ticket holders. And then to go in and and be blocked. We were told that nope, you were not invited. Your account doesn't match, you know? That was the most, most frustrating thing. So this is the number one thing that kind of like f***ed me up. Cause I was panicking. At this point, at this point what I did was I started logging out of everything. I was, I was on my phone. I got, so I, for Map of the Soul, I actually got tickets and my sister as well. We both got tickets through the app on our phone. So that's what I wanted to do again because sometimes the phone and, and when I looked at different apps and websites and things, the phone tended to be faster. It, w it was actually faster uh, in terms of notifications, in terms of just loading time. So I was on my phone. So, I, But at this point, when that notification said that I wasn't invited, <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I logged out of my phone and then I hopped on my PC and then I tried to log in there it didn't work again I restarted my phone logged out of my PC went back into my phone just just constantly and then and then at that point I was just like constantly kind of refreshing going back in going through the link through my email account that they gave us so they click here here's your code click here click that fucking button no nothing was working then I was on Twitter a lot this was happening to a lot of people it happened to my sister Sylvia too she was doing this with me <sighs> I should have like had a drink talking about this. So this back and forth and not being able to even get in the in the weight room or, or the queue, this was going on for an hour. And at this point, I started seeing people that, uh, seeing people get in to actually purchase their tickets. Like, like, and then finally, I guess, I guess the glitch went away and then we were finally able to get in. Now. Ticketmaster, you you either, okay, I, I keep going back and forth, whether you clearly do not have the infrastructure to support 
this type of ticket buying, which by now, by 2021, you should know how big the army is. So I truly, you, you're probably making tons of money, not just off of army, but off of all the, you're, you're the, you, you clearly have like a monopoly on this ticketing system to, for concerts. So I don't know. I don't know how you don't have the right engineers and infrastructure to support this. Or you just don't give a fuck. Whoever gets through is going to get through and whatever. I, I try to be very rational and I am not delusional. I clearly understand that there was a huge demand on these tickets and websites and things are going to crash and thing and things like that when there's heavy 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 traffic so anyway at this point when we got when we finally went in uh i think there were maybe one or two three hundred sections left and then everything else was like four and five hundred so then at this point i just tried to panic buy but then the errors you know the oops someone got your ticket or or like that error message kept popping up even cooking on the four and five hundreds again because we live on the other side of the country these concerts were also on thanksgiving weekend and on a very difficult travel time like december is always difficult for travel so it was a lot of conversation that my sisters and and my mom like we had that like is this even feasible does it make sense to go i think because if we i'm gonna be very real here if we had gotten anything close to what we had for map of the soul like floor at least floor seating even a hundred level i think we would just been like look this is an opportunity of a lifetime i want my mom to see namjoon like we can get her i want to see all that stuff like i want to be with my sister we magically had in the in the floor and we we didn't even have a four ticket limit at that point we were only allowed to buy two tickets for map of the soul for each account so the fact that my sister and i got tickets in the same section on the floor that time like it was just like what is life but just experiences of course you have to be able to support yourself and don't don't be a dumbass about you know buying these experiences but going to california would have to be it would have to be justifiable i know that there's going to be you know there's ticket resales maybe other there were so many like i think you guys that they're either under my my ranty posts on twitter your other codes like the code for today that i got waitlisted for actually most people i saw were waitlisted for today i specifically just offering your tickets to me and i really really appreciate it it's just at this point i think the bitter taste of being a MOTS ticket holder for two years and then given the amount of section and seating that were open to us I just I truly feel like it was a slap in the face like like we were truly in squid game but Ticketmaster wasn't no Gong Yu, okay if it was Gong Yu, I don't know I don't mind me being so like the the fact that during the MOTS ticket pre-sale on the 6th seeing yesterday how many seats were available to army to army membership which that, that's a whole other thing i'm gonna touch on but we were not given a benefit yes we were given a whole a whole day before army membership right i i totally get that i get it but the amount of seats that were available to us was some bullshit. The pandemic was not our fault. It feels very disrespectful. And 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 ultimately, I think it's really important to note that I am not mad that I didn't get a ticket. I am I am not dumb. I know how big the army is. I know how many people are trying to get these tickets. If it were kind of fair for the map of the soul ticket holders, and then I didn't get a ticket? Okay, I, I, I can live with that, you know? I can, I can live with not having a ticket. I've been to a concert. We were fighting with the whole North America. So why won't you open more of the floor in the lower level to the map of the soul ticket holders? Like, let us have a chance when, when the pandemic, like, it, it took that from us. The overall picture here is that the past two years was extremely, extremely difficult. I know for a fact that so many people, th I think this, this was probably the only light they had in their lives. There are more important things in life than a concert, but when something like this 
can just bring some positivity in your life. More of a push and support should have been given to map of the soul ticket holders. I, I thought about it on the flip side, like just just if you were, you know, if you were just kind of in that team, say in Hive or Ticketmaster, whoever made like the these decisions or in, were in these meetings of what to do about these uh, about this concert, I understand when they were like, okay, okay, okay so let's let, let, let this, let's see, we have these people that were holding onto their tickets, and then there was also the the new army membership. I understand looking at the army fan club and being like. Oh, you know, we want mostly army there, and people that buy the army fan club, they're army. So let's let we want th them to get have a chance. Just like last time, I was army membership for um, Map of the Soul tour, and so I had the I had the presale for army membership, and I got in, and I was very thankful for that. I was glad that I signed up for army membership because then I had the chance to get first dibs. I get that, like, but. The pan there was no pandemic in during that time. The pandemic here and the people that had the Map of the Soul tickets, these were the people that I think, in my opinion, deserved it the most. Not just speaking of myself and my sister, I'm talking about anyone who had the Map of the Soul ticket and you held on to your and you let Ticketmaster hold on to your money. These are the people that should have had way more opportunity to open up VIP floor and the lower levels. Every section should have been more open for the map of the soul. Say for some reason, there were a lot, a lot less map of the soul holders. And maybe they were looking at those proportions, those percentages of, oh, more people got refunds, okay. So then the other, then those sections would still be open for the army. It was not a benefit. It was such a bloodbath. I just remember it, like fighting for the tickets on the 6th versus fighting for the tickets on the 7th. I mean, I didn't get tickets either day. <laughs> it was horrendous on the 6th because I spent half the time reading a screen over and over again that I wasn't invited. So I'm sitting here now just in hopes of a 2022 tour. You know, when PTD came out over the summer, in the video you saw that of that list of the dates. It's likely looking at that this is just kind of the first like kind of dip back into concerts. So yeah. Again, we don't even know where they're going. Are those signs correct? I don't know. At the end of the day, I think I'm just super disappointed. I'm a little, I, I'm more over it today for sure. I've, uh, the silver lining is the, the very, very thin, hardly visible <laughs> silver lining is that I don't have to fly and pay double the amount because I live on the East Coast. I, I, I do get that Ticketmaster at some point in time, you know, earlier this year or last year, they didn't know if Hybe was going to do a tour anytime soon. They wanted to hang on. Well, well, one, I do, I do get it. I do kind of appreciate that, like there was maybe this, it, this, this maybe up in the air. But then also, they want to hang on to the money because then it's there for them. This was just my my experience i did want to do this video because i wanted to hear your experience if you tried as well and if you were able to get tickets i am so happy for you i am extremely happy for uh la armies that you don't even have to fly during thanksgiving weekend it's a beautiful stadium by the way like i, I i'm very happy for armies that got tickets like i don't want to take i i'm not trying to take away from anyone that got tickets like I, I, I myself really know that feeling of just seeing, oh, let the anticipation begin. Oh, here's your floor tickets or your sound check. I mean, I never got sound check, but I, I get it. I get the, the just happiness and posting on Twitter. Like I saw on Twitter, people were like, Oh my god, yo, don't, 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 don't post your, don't post your fucking, be more respectful to the armies that, that weren't able to get tickets. I mean, I, no, I get it. I'm sure there were a lot of frustrations during the Map of the Soul tour uh, buying process too. So I get it. I don't, be happy you got them because there are a lot of people in my boat that, yeah, <laughs> that were just, we're not. <laughs> and I know people have been messaging me saying, oh, don't lose hope. There's ticket resales on the 12th and other armies are, are, have reached out saying uh, I want to give you my ticket and I, again thank you but it's so it's still it's already late like I'm the type of person that if I go on a trip or something I plan well well in advance so this is even spontaneous for me I am a planner I mean if the heavens above when I drop a 100 or floor ticket into my lap then we, we can talk <laughs> okay. if you're still here you know just 
I know you are feeling my pain. So I just want to know, like, do you agree with all of this? What, what was your story? Like, just let me know. Let me know, like, what happened to you. Um, even, even how you got your tickets during, if you were also a Mott's army, what happened there? I just really, really felt like I needed, you know, to let it out and have this closure before I move on. The other reactions or other videos and things. So, yeah. Um, until the next Hunger Squid Games, Ami, I will see you later and uh, hopefully with better news. Okay, bye. <laughs>